uh, he look he'll play tonight. So um, I think that you know obviously we take uh, precautionary measures early. He was a little sore um, from something he came into camp with, uh, and that was aggravated in some of the testing and things like that. But upon a second review and a more in depth uh, look from our medical team. Um, he was deemed that there's no issues at all. Um, and then he had a skate on his own yesterday, uh, and that went extremely well. Want to make sure he was comfortable in his own skate without the team. And then uh, joined us for practice today, and he felt very good again today. You know, and I'm sure part of it is, you know, he's, he's young, right? He's a young 18 year old, and, and there is a language barrier there as well. And, um, but, you know, we wanted to make sure we took our time. Uh, and our medical team did a really good job of being patient with it because you don't want to rush in a prospect tournament and getting to the right answer. Seems to be a good chance that you're going to coach him this season. So it's like you yeah, that's you know likely the plan. I mean, obviously he's got a training camp to show that maybe he has other plans, which is great. But um, you know, he's a dynamic player. He's, he's a goal scorer. Uh, that's not just a goal scorer, right? He, you saw that at the World Juniors as a double underage that. He's also a four checker. Uh, he's a guy that goes hunts pucks, comes up with puck battles, takes pucks to hard areas. He's built differently than most 18 year olds, so we, we believe he is ready for the challenge um, in the American Hockey League or, or, or what else might be. But, um, you know, we believe in what we're trying to do from a developmental process, and, you know, nobody is more invested in their development than we are. And so uh, when we have talented young players like him and Rosine and Kisikoff, um, we'd rather be the ones uh, developing them uh, than, ha- than trusting that to somebody else who's not uh, affiliated with our organization. What about, you mentioned he has another plan, but it's cool. You don't mind that, do we? I mean, love it. I love it. He has a great swagger about him. It's, it's not arrogance at all. Um, but, but there's a real swagger and belief that he carries around. Um, you know, he's, he's, an, he's an elite player, carries himself like that, looks like it on the ice, uh, accepts coaching, but you also know he, he's going to make his own decisions out there, which is, which is good. You want players. You, you're going to coach them, but at the end of the day, they're going to go on the ice. They have to make their own decisions. They have to play. Uh, they're the players. The game is theirs. And... Um, he has that, and, and uh, you know, I mean, getting to be the captain of, a, of your national team and those types of things are, you know, uh, he's earned all that. And so he should be coming to camp feeling that he can go and, and show that he should be in Buffalo. Um, he just went as a double underage and, and was excellent uh, against the best players in the world. So, yeah, you love that from a player. Yeah, and, and there'll be growing pains that come with that over here, but that is great. When when I watched him at the under 18s, I, I love that tournament. I've coached in that tournament a lot, right? And, and so I just watched it as to enjoy hockey, um, and I was I was blown away by his play at the under 18s. And quite frankly, I was surprised he he fell to where he fell, um, and then felt even more that way at development camp. And uh, most goal scorers at that young of an age don't play very hard. That's the reality. They just don't. They don't know how to work. They don't know how to go forecheck, be responsible defensively uh, because they've been the best players on their teams their whole life and they score so many goals that they're allowed to get away with things. Uh, he has a work ethic uh, and, and a so-called B game about him. Uh, that also gives us a lot of confidence about bringing him over here this year, that he won't be overwhelmed. And we've, we'll talk to all these players, and we've already talked to, I've already talked to uh, Isak about this, the minute that J.J. Paterka understood that the better he played defense, the more offense he got, his game took off. It was in probably mid-late November, December-ish um, that he realized that if he used his speed for forechecking, for backchecking, for playing great team defense, then he got the puck a lot. When he gets the puck a lot, players like that we're talking about are, are special with the puck. Um, but it's how good they can be at getting it back that, that really starts to ignite their offensive game. It's scary. 
Like, uh, it, it comes – some guy's shot just comes off differently. Um, his shot gets off his stick so much quicker. You know, and when guys – a lot of times when guys are really hammering a puck, it's, it's a big wind-up, and it, they're putting everything into it, and he just seems to be able to just kind of do that. Um, you know, and, and I'm sure a lot of it is hours in the shooting room. And on the ice, and I'm sure some of it is genetics, um, and, and and that's that's what those are usually. Um, it's a special shot, and it comes off his stick in a very unique way. As far as the next game here goes, just I mean, Mike Weber is a big, big raving about his edges. And just, uh, what, what have you noticed about just the way he moves out there? He is a really, really unique skater. Uh, his edge control, his deception. His lateral agility. I think his speed north is good. I think his lateral agility within a 10-foot radius and how he shifts his body is is exceptional. Um, and and as we see in the NHL today, that's where the game's going. That, that, that's what those are some of the things that make some of the elite offensive defensemen so good in the NHL right now. And um, credit to our scouting staff, uh, you know, because a fourth round pick. And you look at the package he has, and you're really excited about having him in our organization because there's a mind, and there's there's talent, and there's creativity and skill. And I thought he showed very well for a young 18-year-old defenseman. It's hard to play D. That's the hardest adjustment is defense. Uh, I thought he showed very well in game one. Beck Warren will play tonight, uh, the whole game. Um, and we'll probably likely go to uh, Suchanik on uh, Monday. Because uh, I thought they both showed that they deserved more time in this tournament. Okay. okay. Thank you.